the church for this hour. Now, remember that uh, we talk about four things. The church of this hour, as the church, we are the church of this hour. We are the church for this hour. So it is not an accident, it is not a coincidence why we are here, why we are saved for this generation. Because God called us, God saved us for a purpose. Amen? He has a plan in mind, and He called us to be a part of this greater plan and purpose. Nga naa sa iyang giplano pala ka nato. Una, kita, gitunluan ta, the church, we pray. Amen? We pray because we are intercessors. We pray for our nation. We pray for our loved ones. We pray for the lost. We pray for the sinners to be saved. Not only that we are commissioned to pray, but we are commissioned to preach. Amen? To preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. He says that we should not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because this is the power of God for unto salvation. Our unsaved loved ones, unsaved friends and relatives, when we preach to them the gospel, they will hear the gospel and they, it, will, uh, it will give them faith to believe to be saved. Not only that we are commissioned to pray and to preach, we are also to commissioned to participate. That is to get involved in the works of the Lord. Amen? That is to find your place and take your place in the church. Have you already found your place in the church? Inyo naman nakapalagan on sa inyong part sa simbahan mixon in the house of God. Who are you in the house of God? What is your calling? What is your assignment? What is your gifting in the house of God? We have to find our place and take our place in the house of God. Last Sunday, we talked about present. In other words, we have to make ourselves available. We present ourselves. We, the the, the pants line that we have last Sunday is here to serve. Amen. I am here to serve. We need to have that kind of attitude. We need to have to have that kind of mentality that we are here to serve. But I am here to serve. Jesus Christ came to serve, not to be served. He came to be a servant and He wants us to become like Him. And He said, I have shown you an example to follow, to serve one another. I am here to serve you. Amen. Let us serve one another. So today, I will uh, share about the word, the fifth one, it's about the price. Ingnim tapad the price. Now I will not be talking about the price of the gasoline, the price of the rice that is you know, plummeting high. But what I will be sharing, speaking today, is about our when we follow Jesus Christ, when we decided to follow Jesus Christ, we should also understand that there is a price to pay in following Jesus Christ. There is a price to pay in following Jesus Christ. How many of you have decided to follow Jesus Christ? Just raise your hands. Amen. Have you decided to follow Jesus Christ? I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. You know what? In Matthew chapter 4, verse 19, right at the very start of the ministry of Jesus Christ, when he was about to call out to group his disciples, his army of believers, the number one thing he did was to call them to follow him. He called them to follow him. This was the time when uh, he called out Peter and his brothers, brothers Andrew. And when he said, he said unto them, pertaining to Peter and to Andrew, follow me and I will make you feasters of men. This is the same word that he spoke to the brothers John and James, the son of Zebedee, when he said, we told him, follow me. The same word he speak to Levi, uh, the tax collector, and he said, follow me. So every single believer, we should learn to understand that God is calling us to follow him. In Tapad, are you following Jesus Christ? Amen. He is calling us to follow him. And one of the important things for us to understand as believers that to follow Jesus Christ, there is always a price to pay in following Him. In Tapa, there is always a cost to follow. Because it costs to follow Jesus. It costs us to follow Jesus. It may cost your money. It will cost your time. It may cost your rest day. It may cost your comfort. 
it may cause your talent, your ability, it may cause something special to you to, to lay down to Him as expression of saying, Lord, I am willing to lay down everything to follow you. Pangutan ako ni mo kagulingon, unsa'y naa sa imo nga gusto sa Diyos nga imong surrender to follow Him. What is it in you that God is telling you to lay it down to follow Him? There is always a price to pay to follow Jesus Christ. It costs us to follow Jesus. Because sad to say that there are lots of believers today that they misunderstood the concept of being a disciple. They thought that when they decided to follow Jesus Christ, when they decided to say, Lord, I will follow you, that everything in life will become comfortable and easy. That time will come that work is unnecessary anymore. When you come to follow Jesus Christ, there's no need for us to pray. There's no need for us to preach the gospel. There's no need for us to get involved in the ministry. There's no need for us to, to participate. There's no need for us to serve. Because in John chapter 19, verse 30, they, they caught some of these verses. They said, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he, he was hung on the cross at this time. He said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. So, they believe, that as, they believe that as followers of Jesus Christ, disciples of Jesus Christ, Jesus has given us the assurance that it is finished. The job is finished. The work is finished. In other words, as a church, we don't need to pray because it is finished. We don't need to preach the gospel. We don't need to invite people to the church because it is finished. We don't need to fast. We don't need to pray. We don't need to, we don't need to get involved with the works of the Lord because it is finished. In John 16, verse 3, uh, it says here, the same thought, when Jesus himself said, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So what's the use of preaching? What's the use of praying? What's the use of endeavoring? What's the use of working hard in the house of God? What's the use of evangelizing? When everything is, it is already finished, and Christ has overcome the world. Because there are lots of people that, for them, coming to church is irrelevant. Prayer are not important. Preaching the gospel and inviting people are not, uh, no longer important because it is already finished. It is already completed. <clears throat> now, I, will, I want you to understand that pertaining to our salvation, pertaining to our redemption, it is already finished. There is no amount of human words can add to it. Luas na ta, amen, Mason. Pinasailo na ta, amen. Not of our own works, not of our ability, not of our own endeavor. We are already been saved. We are justified by the blood of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, in fact, Paul said, not to works in Ephesians 2 9, lest any man should <coughs> boast. It is not of your works, it is not of your ability that why we are saved. Why we are here today is not our own ability, it's not our own work. In verse 10, for we are His <coughs> workmanship. It is His workmanship, not our workmanship. Yeah. It's not our labor. It's not our effort. No, we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Pertains to our redemption, Paul said in Colossians 1.14, in whom we have redemption through His we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins, not because of our good, good works, not because we struggle for it, we fight for it, but it is Jesus Christ sacrificed through His blood. <clears throat> he died on the cross. He sacrificed His life for us to be redeemed. So it's not about us. It's about Him. So when pertaining to our salvation, pertaining to justification, it's all about Jesus. <clears throat> no amount of human works can add to it. Amen. Wala na tayong mahimo pa na humana na. Pwede ba inip tapad humana? Even in John chapter 1 verse 12, he said, But as many as receive Him, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Walang yes. magmingaw. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And he said, if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, God has given you the power to become sons of God for everyone that believes in His name. So we become sons and daughters of God not because of our own ability, not because of we are good enough on, on ourselves, but because of Jesus Christ. It is finished. Amen? Once again, pertaining to our salvation, pertaining to our redemption, pertaining to our justification, it is finished. 
You don't need to pray about it. It is done. It is completed. But when it pertains to our, for us as being the follower of Jesus Christ, it's a different thing. Being saved and becoming a disciples are two different things. Amen? Gusto na ako masabtan mig soon. Nga atong pagkalinuwas, nga atong pagka magsusumusunod sa itong ginong Isus, duha ka na kabutang. Amen? Gusto na ako masabtan nga, on sa ikalainan, what is the difference being to be saved and to serve? To be saved is all about Jesus Christ. It is done. It is finished. It is completed. But to serve, it is our part. Amen? Amen? We have to do something. Amen? We have to do our best. We have to give our best. Amen? Amen. Salvation is free. It is freely given. It is completed. But serving and following God, hallelujah, is our response to Him. Amen? Amen. The, the difference between God's children and the disciples of Jesus Christ. We are God's children, Amen? But at the same time, we are the disciples of Jesus Christ. Mga anak na sa ginoo, pero kita sa mga disipulo, mga tinunan, o mga sumusunod sa itong ginong Isus. So, kinahang lang kita nga makristuhanon, be believers, must truly understand and identify the middle line between us being God's children and the disciple of Jesus Christ. When pertains to, uh, to us being the, uh, the children of God, the sons of God, we are loved, we are forgiven, we are accepted, not because of what we have done, but because of Jesus Christ. Amen? It is finished, it is done. But pertaining for, for our calling, the call of God for us to follow Him, it needs a response. Amen? We have to do something about it. Amen? I have to do something about it. Gusto na masabta that salvation is receiving. Amen? Just receive it. It's a freely gift from God. Forgiveness. We receive forgiveness. We receive the love of God. We receive the grace of God. We receive the mercy of God. We receive the, the blessings of God. But following Him is serving Him. Amen? To be saved, salvation is receiving, but following is serving. And Jesus is calling out the church for this hour to follow Him. To serve Him. Amen, Mix on. To lay down everything that hinders us, the followers that are willing to pay the price to follow Jesus Christ. Are you willing to pay the price? Wala ko may balo, I don't know about what price you need to pay, what price you need to lay down in order to follow Him. Uh, before that, I wrote it, we are saved to serve. Pwede ba inutapad? You are saved to serve. We are not saved to just sit down and waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ. Hello? There's something that needs to be done. The Great Commission must be preached. The lost must, must know Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The world must hear the gospel. And we, the church for this hour, are the ones that are being commissioned to do it. Amen. The church has been commissioned to preach the gospel, to pray for the lost, to get involved in the works of the Lord, to present ourselves as a servant. Amen. Because we are saved to serve. I am saved to serve. Wala ta maluwas nga pag maglingkod na ta wan tay buhaton tulog-tulog na ta hayahay no dili ngo ana ang katuyuan nga giluwas sa migsuon ang kahayahay nga tinuod to aras pikas din he we have lots of struggles amen we have we have a lot of fight that's why we have to fight the good fight of faith with the assurance that Christ has already won the victory for us amen we just enforce the finished work of Jesus Christ but we have to enforce it amen Hallelujah. We are saved to serve. One, one, once again, na, I am saved to serve. I'm here to serve. Amen. Hallelujah. As children of God, everything is really given. But as a disciple of Jesus Christ, there is something that we need to lay down, something that we need to pay. There is a cost, there is a price to pay to follow Jesus Christ. 
Pwede ba inyong tapad? Unsa nga bili ang ipangayo sa Diyos ng anak ka nimo? Maybe the price, some of us are employers and employee working and most of us, Sunday is a very special day. Family day, rest day, amen? But somehow, I don't know, ang Sunday po, gitawag po the Lord's day. But that is why sometimes there is a price to pay to be here. Some of us, to be here today is an easy, easy way. Okay, wala, wala trabaho, wala. But some of us, you came here, even though you have a job, but still you just leave your job. Amen. You work 12 hours a day, so you thought that today you need to rest, but you pay the price and you're here. Amen. To just worship God in the house of God, gathering together here, lifting up our hands and heart, and heart to God as one body in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In Luke chapter 14, verse 26, here Jesus emphasizes the importance of being a disciple of Jesus Christ. And as a being a disciple, that we know that there is something that we need to lay down. There is a cost to pay to follow Jesus Christ. To be saved, it's all free. But to follow Him, it costs us much. Amen. Ang ubang ka na ito, dili ka gusto mo simba, karun, dili itong dili ka gusto mo simba, kung inaagay ati manunon, unta, but you are here today. Amen? You pay the price. You pay the cost to serve. In verse 26, it says, If any man come to me, in other words, if you have decided to follow Jesus Christ, once again, have you decided to follow Jesus Christ? And this word is for you. When he, when he said, if anyone come to me, if anyone who decided to follow me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciples. Now, this is not literally say that you have to hate your father, you hate your mother, hate your wife. I don't hate my wife. Only sometimes I will be offended with my wife, but I will never hate my wife. Amen. Hate your children. Hate your brethren and sisters. Hate our, ourselves. No, It speaks about if we love people and we love things more than Him, we cannot be His disciples. So being a followers of the disciple of Jesus Christ, you have to lay down everything because for us, Jesus is our foremost. Jesus is our everything. Amen? And you're willing to lay down everything. Whatever may be the cost, you're willing to pay the price. Because you are decided and fully decided, fully determined to follow Jesus Christ. When he said, are you going to follow me? You have to love me more than anything else. More than your job. More than your comfort, comfortable time. More than your sister time. Amen. More than your home. More than, your, more than anything else. More than anybody else. This is how we express no, our, 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 our love and our gratitude to God by following Him, forsaking anything just to follow Him. Pangutahan ni mo tapad, unsa may wala pa ni mo masurrender be? Because as children of God, as being saved, it's all about Him. Walay ato. But as disciples of Jesus Christ, we have to lay down everything. Even ourselves. Even our, even our personal desires. In verse 27 it says, Whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me, cannot be my disciples. Are you willing to pay the price? Are you willing to, to face the challenges that, will, that may come along the way when you begin to decide to follow Jesus Christ? Are you ready to be ridiculed? Are you ready to be scorned? Are you ready to be abandoned? Are you ready to be forsaken? Hello? Kaysa ready din nga biyaan kasi mga mabarkada. Isalikway kasi mga maginikanan because you follow Jesus Christ. Are you ready for that? Amen? There are lots of people for us coming to Jesus Christ is not just hard, but there are some of us, it's too hard. Uh, even uh, the past years, some of our young adults, students pa kaniyad to, di papili, no? Sinang kaniyad na, mas malipay pa nga mag-addict-addict siya kaysa musimba. Imagine. There's so much persecution. But because of that, our, our young people, they were, they were so willing and determined to lay down their lives, willing to pay the price just to follow Jesus Christ. Amen. And the good news is, they overcame. Amen. Amen. Nagmadaogon sila, panalangin na sila, o ang ilang mga pamilya, anam-anam na po, nga naluwas. 
Why? Because they have decided to follow Jesus Christ regardless of the cost, the price to pay. Because we are disciples and we are followers of Jesus Christ. The church of this hour, God is looking for the church to arise into the level of discipleship. Not just the level of being children of God, sons and daughters of God, ears of God, ears of the blessing. What we have to understand, we have to level up to the level of we are disciples of Jesus Christ. We are followers of Jesus Christ. We have to respond to the call of God. Amen? We have to invest. We have to, we have to pay the price as the disciples, as the believers of Jesus Christ. If we cannot follow Him, if we cannot pay the price, we cannot be His disciples. Ask somebody next to you, are you willing to pay the price? Some of us, the price being uh, abundant and forsaken. There are Christians that are, uh, when they got born again and they decided to follow Jesus Christ, they cast, they, they, they've been cast away from their families. Ang mga ginikan ng ingon, wala na kay labot sa among katigayunan, wala na kay labot sa itong bandi hektaryas, kabasakan. Amen? Kay lahi na yung ginoo, lahi yung ginoo, but still, they pursue to follow Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, if you love those things more than me, you cannot be my disciples. Because for us to become the disciple of Jesus Christ, we have to forsake everything to follow Him. Amen? In Luke chapter 9, another areas in the Bible that uh, Jesus was speaking concerning the cost of being the disciples, the price to pay to follow Him. In Luke chapter 9, verse 59, He says, And He said unto another, Follow me. But He said, This was the response, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. And He said, Sunod na ko. And He said, Lord, O pwede unya na, pwede ugma na, kay ako bang ilubong akong papa. Now, do you think God, Jesus was so gracious about, oh yes, I'm, I'm so gracious, I'm so merciful. Go ahead. Tanawa na ko sa verse 60. Makita ni mo tubag, Jesus Christ. It's totally different, no, different from He being our Savior, Redeemer, as being sons and daughters of God. No, lahi ang atong pagka. You should understand different shape, different shape, no? Jesus the Savior and Jesus our Master. Jesus our Savior and Jesus our Lord. When it pertains to His being our Savior, it's everything. He is gracious, He's merciful, He's loving. But pertaining to His Lordship and Master, being a Master of our lives, we have to submit ourselves to Him. Amen. Be willing to pay the price. Ang yan tubag na nawa, Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. There's so much things to be done, greater done, what you need to be done. Amen? Nabay dag ko mabutang, kinang buhaton, labaw pa sa imong gituhan, nga angay ni mong buhaton. Mabot yung sa punto, sa imong pa, you have to come to the level, the point of being the disciple of Jesus Christ, that for, for Jesus Christ, what matters most is our obedience to Him. That He is our everything. Amen. Follow Him and pay the price. Verse 61. Another, and another also said, Lord, I will follow you. Hallelujah. Pwede ba madunggang? Ina si Jesus Christ, Lord, I will follow you. But at the same time, like the other, like the former one, nagyan po excuses. But let me first go bid them for will which are at home at my house. Now, yes, Lord, I will follow you, pero manangin sa ako ni Mama Papa, manangin sa ako dito nga, bye-bye. But what is the answer of Jesus Christ? When he said, Jesus said to him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. In other words, when you have decided to follow Jesus Christ, there's no turning back. There's no looking back. When we decided, when you have decided to follow Jesus Christ, you have to follow Him through and through. No turning back. In him, but no turning back. No turning back. So then, my Lord, I will follow you. Wala na kay lingi-lingi pa mixon. Amen. Di na kamo lingi pa sa mabutang ay mong gihigugma kaniyad to. That's why Jesus said, "If you love them more than you love me, you cannot be my disciple." 
Because the disciple of Jesus Christ, we have this kind of determination to love God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, with all of our strength, with everything. He is our number one. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. Above anything else in this world, we have no other desires in life but to pursue, to follow, and to serve Jesus Christ. Amen. Above anything else. Maging mo, Lord, Pastor, disura rin mo follow ka Jesus Christ. The price to pay, the cost to lay down before the Lord. Lord, lisud ka ayo. Bila sa inyo din rin kung nalisud ka, isunod sa itong ginoo. That it is hard to pay the price to follow Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, sayang akong panulundon kung papalayasan ko. Amen? Sayang akong trabaho, akong sweldo. There are things that need to be abandoned, but you, you just can't because for you, it's very it's important. But if you want to follow Jesus Christ, you must be willing to lay down everything. Pili ba mo ka everything? Linga imong taba na everything. Sa pikas na na everything. Sa likod na na everything. What's the meaning sa everything? Everything means what? Everything means everything. Nothing left. Totally surrendered. No looking back. Pastor, ingan na din atong ginuot. Ingan na din siya. Nga, gusto din siya nga mag-antusta. Gusto din siya nga biyan na ito ang tanan. Is that the kind of God that we serve? That He wants us to suffer? He wants us to forsake everything just to follow Him? To prove that we love Him? Is that the kind of God that we serve? No, when God will tell us something to do, because in his mind, he has greater and good things prepared for us. So, go on ganito sa ginoo sa kabutang igsoon. Dili na ang makadahot ka nato. But it's something that will benefit us. Because the price is far greater than the price. Gusto na akong gana. Basaha rin mo igsoon. Basaha. Kung sa ibot, pasabutan na. When we, get, when we fully committed to follow Jesus Christ, lay down everything, be willing to pay the price, of follow, the cost of following Jesus Christ, greater reward awaits for us. Greater blessings ang gahulat when we follow, when we have decided to follow Jesus Christ. In Paul, in Romans chapter 8, verse 18, he says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory we shall be revealed in us. Hallelujah. Amen. Ang imo mga pagandos, the price you pay, everything that you surrendered and laid down for the cost of the cross to follow Jesus Christ. Di ang imo mga pagandos ang nawala kanimo. Dili na ay kakumparar sa dag kong mabutang agiandam sa Dios kay mo dawatulon sa dag mo sunod ka sa taong ginong Jesus. Kanang nawala nimo, kanang na, nakuha kanimo, it's nothing compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us when you have decided to follow Jesus Christ. The church for this hour is calling the church to arise. God is calling the church for this hour to arise. Take your place. Find your place and take your place. Follow Jesus Christ. Pwede ba mo Lord? Pwede ba, Lord Jesus, I have decided to follow you, not turning back. Amen? Willing to pay the price. Philippians 3.14, this is the cost, this is the motivations of the Apostle Paul. Regardless of the suffering, kung suffering is good and so on, Paul suffered many things. Shetrek, he was being stoned to death, namatay siya kausa. Nabanhaw siya. Nagutman. Nagkahubo-hubo. Many times, gibunalan niyang likod o 40 kabunal. Many times, natad-tad na iya mutudlo sa tiil, gibunalan ang puthaw para dili na makawali. Grabe nga, pain, physical pain, mental and emotional torture, aside from friends and loved ones who abandoned and forsook him because he chose to follow Jesus Christ. 
You know, say again on sa Philippians 3.14, I press toward the mark of the price of my calling of God in Christ Jesus because I believe that the suffering, that His present suffering cannot compare the glory that will be revealed in Him. Hallelujah. I pray nga kita may so on as we as the church of this hour we need to learn to count the cost and pay the price to follow Jesus Christ. Thank God for the salvation. As God's children, we are saved by grace. It's not of our own works. Amen. It is finished. It is completed. It is done. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He shed His blood so that we can be forgiven. We can be accepted. And we can be saved. And we are now saved. And we are children of God. Amen. And because we are sons and daughters of God, we are ears of God, we can ask anything to Him in the name of Jesus Christ, and the Father will answer us. But on the other hand, we are children of God, but we are also the disciples of Jesus Christ. We are followers of Jesus Christ. And as a follower of Jesus Christ, we, there is something that in us, within us, that we have to lay down. There is a price to pay and a cost to count. To follow and serve Him. Amen. But the good news is God has promised us this assurance. Ngayon unsa man ka, grabe ang kasakit ni mo dawaton, ang kaguol ni mo dawaton, ang mga pagsalikway sa mga tao, pagtamay ka ni mo, dili ni ikakumparal sa palakpak na imong madawat dito sa langit, may zone, sa abibang imong madawat, sa komplimento, sa praise ni mong madawat, nagiandam sa Diyos if you continue to follow Him. Pay the price. Pay the price. Pay the price. Follow Jesus Christ. There is a price to pay. There is a price to pay. Be willing to pay the price. Last verse, Paul said, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable. In other words, when you, this, when you have decided to follow Jesus Christ, there's no turning back. Amen. We should be steadfast in our focus, immovable in our focus, in our direction to follow Jesus Christ. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. We, we keep on praying and preaching, involving in the works of the Lord, serving one another, serving other people. Amen. For as much as you know, hallelujah. So we are not ignorant about it. God has given us the word. God has given us the promise that he will, if we will follow Him, if we will decide to follow Him today, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your sacrifice is not in vain in the Lord. You're paying the price is not in vain in the Lord. You're laying down everything for the, the cost of the cross is not in vain in the Lord. You're following Jesus Christ and not turning back is not in vain in the Lord. There is the price. Amen. Dunay premio, dunay ganti, make so on, nga nagpaabot sa mga katawahan, nga matinulanan, nga musunod sa itong Jesus. Amen. We are God's children and we are disciples of Jesus Christ. As God's children, we enjoy the blessings of God. Amen. We are greatly blessed. We are highly favored. We are loved. We are accepted because of Jesus Christ. But as a disciple of Jesus Christ, there is a price to pay. Amen. We are willing to suffer. We are willing to endure because we follow Jesus Christ. We serve Him. He is not just our Savior. He is our Lord and He is our Master. Amen. Stand on your feet right now.